Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create your ad campaign for, um, again, for Bugbox, okay? So again, let's click create here. Okay, create read button. Okay, now the objective what we that we're going to choose is what? Can you guess? Lead, sir. Lead, sir. lead generation? Lead yes, sir. Lead generation. Now, can you tell me why lead generation? Because you're using the opt in box, sir, for connecting the email list. And why not conversions? Uh, once you get the leads, means we automatically will get the conversions, sir, via, uh, by email sequences. Okay. So again, let's scroll down. Now, please give this a friendly name like Barkbox Two. This would be the second ad campaign, right? Yes, sir. So leave the name as lead generation so that you know this is a lead generation campaign, right? Lead generation yes, bark box campaign two, right? Bark box yes, number two, correct? Yes, and uh, again, uh, did you check which countries are allowed for this particular uh, offer in IMC? Uh, United States and Canada. United States and Canada. Okay. Facebook page would be funny dash in, right? Yes, so basically, uh, you would be targeting US and Canada. So, which, what age group you want to target? Uh, I don't know, sir. Uh, let me see that. Thanks. You need to, you, you have to give your best guesses because this is your first campaign, right? Correct. So think about the dogs and think about like 18 to maybe 50, 50, 55. Yep. So just write that down in the ad set name, please. What should I write, sir? A friendly name. In the ad set name, like 18 to 50 plus, then the country, like US, Canada, 18 to 50 plus, and the campaign name. This should be the this would be the name of your campaign. That's it. Don't like make things simple. Okay. Sir. So can I put my dates here? Yeah, sure, sure. It's uh, it's it's a name. You can go ahead and put it. Is it enough, sir? Otherwise, you need to add some something else. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Canada, sir. Yes, just put US is already there, put Canada as well. Uh, okay, sir. I can use the special symbol, sir, like this. So use 25 to 65 plus. 25 to 65 plus. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, use uh, US and Canada 25 to 65 plus. Cool. Um, now scroll down. Okay, sir. Again, uh, here, yep, come down. Again, locations, <laughs> choose the locations from the audience section. Locations would be Ad Canada as well. Mm -hmm. Not here, here in the location tab. We, we are not going to use custom audiences right now. We don't have any custom audiences, right? Yep, type Canada.
Mm -hmm. Now, uh, again, we're going to choose the date, age, I mean, that is uh, 25 to 65. 25 to 65 plus. We're going to choose only women, okay, because women are more into dogs. And uh, let's just scroll, scroll down, come to the detail targeting section. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Now again, here, what we're going to do is, we're going to put, Dashing, Adoption, Rescue, and Education. That is, a C H There you go. So there's like fifty eight thousand people. You see that? Yes, sir. Again, then you're going to put dash in the lights. Lights again, dash and rescue. So, add everything related to dash and please. Okay. Racing, sir. Dashing, dashing. Everything dashing. Okay, so done. Okay, cool. Okay, now I would also advise you to add some more interest. Just type in cardigan, C A. Okay, I'll just type in for you. C A. Uh, instead, okay, dash and cardigan. I'll just type in. Cardigan. Now add everything cardigan. Okay, now put corgi. Mm -hmm. Okay, now put corgi, C O R G I. Add everything Corgi. Corgi is also a dog. Okay. 
Okay, now. Now add everything, Shizu. Okay, sir. Chizu lovers, you see that? Chizu lovers. Is Port, Ch Port Chizu there? Okay. Yep, you see Chizu lovers again? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, all good, all good. Nothing else. Cool. So now you see you're targeting like 14 million people, right? Correct. Yes. Now let's uh, scroll down. Click outside this box. So the placements could be mobile and desktop newsfeed. So uh, I I would advise you to save your audiences, right? Correct. Again. Um, bark box, audience to bark. Box, audience to. Right now, it's always advisable to copy all this and put it in a notepad. As I told you, notepad, 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 right? Copy it and put it in a notepad. Because these things are going to help you in future. Okay, so done. Mm -hmm. Click save. Okay. Uh, now edit. Come, let's scroll up. Can you scroll up, please? Okay, sir. Okay, edit placements. Click edit placements. Placements. Click the radio button, edit placements here in the placement section. Okay, so mobile and desktop both. So let it be on Instagram. So because we're collecting leads, let it run, okay? Remove the audience network. Remove the audience network. Done? Did you remove the audience network? No, sir. I didn't see where it is. This is the audience network. Okay. Okay, that's the stories, but audience network is already not there. So we, uh, we just need to remove stories. Correct stories for this as well. And, uh, okay. So when you actually hover on these particular things, you see uh, the particular component, the placement on the right, okay? Yes, sir. So in stream videos, you see that, right? Suggested videos, it actually shows, right? Yes, sir. You also have to think as a user. Uh, and let's scroll up. All mobile devices. So daily budget, we'll keep this to, how much can you afford? $10 per day for three days? 
can you go with that okay sir i can okay sure just for ten dollar there and you would be running this campaign for three days and then we will slowly be optimizing okay because we're collecting leads we can uh, go for ten dollars right so put ten dollar budget there okay, sir. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. So you need to change the set start and uh, end date, sir. Here. Ah, uh, yes, please. Put the end date three days from today. Go and change the end date. Yep. That would be December. From this. Sir. You put in December, that would be like 33 days. Change to it to November. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Scroll down. Okay, sir. Okay, can you click continue there? So, your uh, one error is. Yep, sir. whenever we save this audience, this thing comes up, okay? It's like uh, there's some kind of uh, bug, I believe, in Facebook. So this always happens when we save audiences. So can you try uh, saving it or going back? So it says you saved audience, right? So it, you can scroll down. Okay. And try refreshing the page. Save this page and then slowly move forward. What is the error it is giving you? Scroll down. Uh, parameters your audience in uh, ID is invalid, sir. Yeah. Audience ID. Audience ID invalid. So let's scroll up and click audience. Go go scroll up. Okay. Scroll up. Up, 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 go up, yep, go, 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 yep. Okay, click edit, this edits button, you know. Let's click edit. Okay, let's come back here. In terms of service not accepted, you can't run leads until your Facebook page accepts Facebook's lead generation terms of service. Okay. Now, where's the terms of service? Can you quickly find that, please? Click this button, Facebook page, you see that? Okay, okay, let me, you see? Please read and accept Facebook's leads terms before creating your ad for this page, okay? Now, let's click view terms. And uh, click on view terms and accept it, I agree. Okay, now scroll down. Start date is in the past. Click continue. That this start date is in the past. So reset your start date. You yeah, have click 27. Yep, 27. Yes, sir. 27 to 30. Yes, sir. Now it is okay, sir. So again, you have to run it for three days at least. Um, yes, sir. 30. 30th of November. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
No, it's okay. So. Now click continue. Again, single video. I'm going to choose single video. This one, sir. Single video, okay. Yep. So again, you need to enter the text here, sir. Lead generation, add name. Yeah, give give the same ad name as as the name of the ad. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, now select video. Use the selected Facebook page. Select your page. Funny that thing, sir. Use the so you yeah, your ad will use the page name and profile picture. Yep. So your business is represented in ads by Facebook page or Instagram. It says use the selected uh, page. I, I the page is already being selected. You don't have to do anything here. The page, okay. page is already selected, right? Correct. Now click this video video here. Single video, right? Yes, sir. Now scroll down. Choose or create video and you uh, video that you'd like to use in your ads. Scroll down. Now you see the video recommendations on the right. Scroll up, scroll up slowly. Now you see this recommended length up to 15 seconds. Recommended aspect ratio vertical, sound enabled with captions included, video specifications recommended, video format MP4 uh, or GIF, Facebook 240 minutes max required lens by placement. Again, if you put in a video that should not be more than 240 minutes for Facebook, for Instagram video, it should not be more than two minutes. Resolution 600 pixels, minimum width, file size up to 4 GB. Correct. Now, again, um, you need to, like you see, 15 seconds video are, are like really good. If it's saying 15 seconds is recommended, that means 15 second kind of videos perform really great on, on Facebook. This is what I understand. Um, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. So it should give you a suggestion that you can choose the video from your page. Scroll up. So again, uh, you have to download that video and then upload it from here or right, let's click browse library age videos again here so which is the video can you quickly select the right one yes Reggie, are you there Yes, sir, yes, sir. I'm there. Select the right video. Please check that box for the video that you want to run ads on. Can you see the screen? Mm -hmm. Little okay. Dashin. I don't know. I don't know the title. Okay, this first one. This one. Okay, one. select it. Okay, sir. Now, okay, press the select option. Okay, mm -hmm. Select. Cool. 
Now you need to put a nice ad copy here, enter text. Okay. Correct. Now please think of a nice ad copy as per the landing page, right? Maybe you can put the, those same benefits uh, that you used on your landing page here uh, for as an ad copy, okay? Because that would be concurrent. Your ad copy and your landing page would be concurrent. And when you when your ad copy and landing page are concurrent, Facebook char it charges you less. So a monthly box of dog goodies, right? So, so we'll simply put the same as ad copy. Okay. Okay. So this would be the title, a monthly box of dog goodies, right? Paste it in your ad copy as the subject line. Focus it. Mm -hmm. Now, again, scroll. Uh, uh, this would be the description. So here is the headline. See, you need to paste it here. Focus. Okay. Cool. Now here goes the text. <coughs> and let's scroll down and see how it is looking on the right hand side. You see, headline, a monthly box of uh, dog goodies, right? Direct. Again, uh, let's go to your landing page and let's take the benef benefits of that, right? And copy paste the benefits quickly with bullet points, of course. For dogs who demand a challenge, ready to spoil your pup with a bug box of their very own, copy all this stuff and put it in Facebook. Okay, cool. Scroll down. Okay, you copied everything. Privacy policy and all that. Check the description. We respect your privacy policy. Remove all the unnecessary stuff and please format it properly. Put the bullet points as well accordingly. Put the bullet points, make it look good to the eyes of the reader. <clears throat> Where you can get the bullet points? You just need to put dash, you know, hyphen. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It would not go for the first line, right? It would only go for the words that are bullet points, right? As per the landing page. Okay, sir. First, remove that uh, stuff. Primeops at gmail.com, get instant access, remove that stuff.
Oh, no, you think it's good, good, sir? No, it doesn't look good. Let me let me do that for you. Wait. Each day, each if every. So again, this would be. Here, they'll never look at a cardboard box the same way again. Here goes another bullet point. You need to work hard on these components. Um, um, Rajni, you know, this is where you focus. This is where you overthink things. Okay. okay sir. Because this is something that that is going to be displayed to warm to the audience, right? Audience. Yes, sir. Correct. And if you don't work hard at this place, if your audience will not have if, if they're not able to read your content properly. What is going to happen? Your, your clicks will decrease, right? again so so when you're creating ad copies you have to make it look really really readable no must no fuss no disapproved pups right correct so again Click here to get your bark box. Based so now I think you have to cloak your link with click magic before putting it here, right? Why your custom domain now quickly do that, please, or do you have it ready? How to create it, sir? That one you will go to your click magic and you will cloak your link with your click magic, right? Yes, sir. Now click quickly create a new link and create a new link. already created sir. Perfect. Then go for it. Copy that link and paste it. So means uh, we need to keep the opt-in box. Uh, yes, yes. Opt -in Sorry. Box, uh, we need to put the opt-in box here, right, sir? No, no, no. We are not doing any Bing thing, right? This is okay. Facebook ads. We don't have to do anything with the token. Okay, okay. Then what? What should we do, sir? Now. Copy, copy the tracking link that you created in Click Magic and put it in Facebook ads. That means the uh, you, email, uh, email URL or uh, opt-in box URL, sir? The, which link is the Facebook ads URL? You created it, right? Oh, actually created like uh, billiards, sir. That's what I'm asking. So create a new one for FB ads? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
sir actually created this one sir uh, this this seems to be for the email right yes sir email yes. and uh, also created the link for the opt-in book that for the for la for landing page but you're using your landing page right so you're going to use yes, your sir. landing page link in facebook ads right yes sir this one the this is the landing page url sir. so so you're going to use the landing page url correct yes sir yep this so one, go sir. for it yep use the landing page url <coughs> Okay, sir. Copy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Click here to get your bug box. Yep. So where is the link option? Sir? Okay, cool. Let me let me help you with this, please. First off. You will paste it here. Can you paste it? Control V. Okay. Click the link below. Okay. Now scroll down. Scroll down. Yep. Even more. Okay, now you have to look at that screen as well, correct? While you're scrolling down, correct? So, so we have to put the link, correct? So call to action here, sign up, right? Correct? So again, you have to use some of your common sense as well, my friend, right? Correct? Again, click learn more. Uh, or rather than learn more, so you see, again, um, get offer, right? Instead, I'll put get offer, okay? okay sir. And uh, again, display link, enter the link as you want people to see it on your app, correct? So, if you can type in here, dot me, where is it coming up? Okay, so here's the link coming in, right? So, instead, we're going to put the link as it is. Okay, scroll down, slowly. Okay, so the link is there. Uh, okay, I think this is getting too much. Um, let me scroll down, please. Select one or more options for conversion tracking. You'll see the results in Ads Manager along with ad performance data, right? So again, oh, add pixel code to your website and instant experience to report conversion, see activity and build audiences for ad targeting. So I'll turn this on, right? So again, we have to choose the marketing with pixel. Whoa. One, sir, one. Where is one? I don't see one. I, I only see four and five. And they're in red. Okay. Oh, okay. I, again, uh, so it's not active at this time. Please double check your pixel. 
Okay, my friend, or Hajini, you've already uh, done a lot of mess up here, correct? So you have to turn this on and you have to delete the, the unnecessary pixels, okay? So, now please go back, open the page in a new business manager, okay? okay. First off, copy all your text from this particular section and paste it in a notepad so that if you lose all this, right? Yeah, you can paste it. So copy all this and put it in notepad, please. No, 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 only the text, my friend, the box, use your, right. Now open a new tab, go to your business manager in a new tab, please. New tab, not from here. The tab is the plus sign on your Chrome. Nope, you will, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't do anything. When I say new tab, you need to press this plus okay. sign on your Chrome browser. Okay, okay. Right? Rajini, new tab. Yep. Okay. Now open business. Just type in business here. B U S I N E double -S, S, and you will get the link for that. Yep. Enter. Nope, okay. the first one, pixels. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> now I'll please show advanced options. Right. Now select this. Now you see marketing pixel, right? Yes, sir. Look, this is the pixel that we added, right? And this is shows green, so that means our pixel is working, right? Okay, sir. Now, what does this mean? Select one or more popular options for conversion tracking. You'll see the results in Ads Manager along with ad performance data. So you will be able to see which particular ad is bringing you a leads. So you would be able to see the lead data, right? So again, uh, Facebook will use the following offline events set for tracking and data upload, right? Again, um, let's just scroll down. Now please click confirm. One before continuing with your ad now. Scroll up. Create a form to use in your ad so that people interested in your business can send you their information. Okay. Thank you. 
again what we're going to do is uh, we are let's turn this off okay let's go to the objectives part let's change this to conversions so we are not doing lead generation we we need to choose conversions rajni Hello, you there? 